Race four of the BMW IBSF Women's Skeleton World Cup, the first European race in Winterberg, Germany. Snow devastated the first runs, but into the second, conditions were better. Going off in fifth position after heat one, Mimi Reneva of Canada, a really good run challenging her teammate Jane Channel who'd soared up the order after being 10th in the first heat. Canada won two and there was still another Canadian athlete to go. Elizabeth Varche won the race here in Winterberg last year. Fourth after the first heat, just four hundredths of a second out of medal contention. Could she produce another flying run? Little Raab down into turn nine. She had a slender lead over Reneva. It was going to be Canada 1-2-3 as she scorpioned across the line to take the lead with three to go. In that three, former winners on the track, former world champion Tina Herman, but she couldn't produce the goods at the start. She habitually finds the pace at the bottom of the Winterberg track, but it wasn't enough. Only third place, two Canadians in front of her. Elena Nikitina tied the start record with her first heat and Reneva had done the same in her second run. But a new start record for Elena Nikitina, an uncomfortable squirrely first corner though. Could she hang on in front of Elizabeth Arce? Last year's race winner still had a substantial lead as the Russian got to the final corner and at the line, one hundredth of a second behind. She wouldn't be the winner today. Jacqueline Lerling of Germany, last year's world champion and World Cup champion, the 22-year-old on home soil, has only ever won one international race here at the Intercontinental Cup level, the second tier of sliding. But today, all of that changed. She claimed her second win of the season, her first ever World Cup win on home ice, going away from the field. Lerling claims victory. The silver goes to Elizabeth Varche, Elena Nikitina, a new track record at the start, and the bronze medal. And it's Lerling who continues to lead the World Cup standings as we head to Eagles in a week's time.